YouTube. It's your boy Fish and Ken, Hook City TV. You know I got my main man with me. Hook City. And it's going down. Guys, I am excited and delighted about what we're here to do today. So man, look, we are back out here at what we call Nature's Grocery Store. What y'all like to get from, from Nature's Grocery Store? Well listen, God has provided a certain fish and y'all already know what it is. And my sister called me the other day and she said, Kenny, that's what they call me. Kenny, I got an idea for some crappie. So today, guys, we got another crappie catch, clean, and cook for you, man. She hadn't told me what it is that she's going to make it, but she guaranteed me I'm going to love it. Now, one thing y'all got to know about me, I really only like crappie one way, and that's fried died and laid to the side but today she said she got something else for me in store she said i'm gonna love it so y'all are gonna get to see what i call my little sister a little bit later on me and dad right now are gonna get out here and see if we can get on some of these crappie so that she can get these fresh fillets and make whatever dish she, she said that she was gonna make for us today so sit back and relax man we're gonna go donkey hunting hopefully we can get some of those good thick fillets today we'll see how that works out man y'all stay tuned your boy fisher ken Luke city tv let's go baby Now look, real quick before I get up here in my, in my seat, man, I just want to make sure I I uh, give a shout out to my ride sponsor, man. Listen, if y'all are looking for a great crappie ride, right now, man, I'm going to be using that 13 foot ACC crappie stick with the uh, super grip on it, man. Um, today we're, we're using the uh, Shimano Sedona with a 10 pound Power Pro line, man. Listen, y'all have to understand this stuff does not stretch. It's high vis yellow that I can also see it for those negative bites. And this uh, 500 series Sedona, it's really light, man. We are using, um, this is this is not a mid and it's not a rear seat, man. It's something new that ACC does. And I tell you what, man, it is a very balanced rod to be 13 foot. I don't feel fatigued. Dad, you're using what, the 12 footer? Dad's got the 12 with the EVA handle, man. So there's definitely enough, enough uh, choices four crappie rods that you're looking for. These are medium action rods, man, so they do handle big fish as well. Go get you one. Uh, www.acccrappiestix.com, man. Actually, our second fish of the day, first one on camera. I'm gonna tell you something, man. I had to do some switch up, man. Uh, the first fish we caught today, let me show y'all that fish. That first fish, he hit that pearl. But after that, boy, he said, they wasn't trying to hear it, but that's the that's the first one of the day on camera. He's gonna go in the box, because again, we, uh, we grocery fishing. We ain't trophy fishing. But the first fish, Hit that pearl. I'll show you. So first fish hit the pearl, which was this one on the constant pursuit. This one here hit a black and chartreuse um, brush pile jigs. But listen, we got two. I see fillets in their future, man. Oh man. Look, Quisha, I hope you're ready. I'm bring you some fillets, sister. All right, guys, so this is what we're using right now. They were actually given to me, man, uh, brush pile jigs. We're gonna put a, we're gonna put another one of those on. We're gonna get one on for dad, too, so we can both be using them, because right now they're on the black and chartreuse. See how that works out. Alright guys, the second second fish. 
third all together. That's six fillets, man. Listen, we out here at the grocery store doing our thing. Hey, do me a favor, man. If you're watching this video to this point, you still watching, man. You seen us catching these hee-haw. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And remember, every Thursday night, 8 o'clock, I'm going live, man, to talk to you guys. The lives are for y'all, man. So I want y'all to show up. Come holler at us, man, every Thursday night. But, man, this is another sandwich maker. Y'all see that? Woo. Better get the grease hot, the pot hot, or whatever you got. This one's coming home. used to seeing a hard bite when there's a bluebird sky. Now, there, there are a few clouds, um, but man, it is a little tough out here today. It's cool though. Um, we're grocery fishing. We're getting what we need, and we're going to have some feed. Still practicing on boat control. You can never not get enough practice with boat control, especially with these uh, crest liners or the deep V boats. They're harder to control than these guys with these uh, with these bass boats, fiberglass boats, heavy boats that uh, don't have high sides. The wind can't push them around as much. We're not spot locking, guys. We are running the trolling motor. We're gonna get back up here. Dad's already got one 30 foot away. Um, we're gonna see if we can drop down and catch this one. Let's go, baby. You caught him, man. Yeah, he was right up under some. That might be a sand bass. He was up under that bait. Yeah. I went right through that bait. Now, figure if something got too low, I don't He'll mess with it. Yeah. That was right up under that bait. Yeah. Another crappy, guys. Now, listen, that one right there, there's a lot of bait, bait balls out here. We're in 37 foot of water now. Uh oh. A lot of bait balls out there, and, and right below those bait balls, you hear it all the time, man. Um, especially for you guys with no live scopes. <clears throat> um, and we used to do it that all the time when, when we, you know, were kind of new to crappie fishing, man. We dropped minnows, three or four poles on the side of the boat. I I troll around with my uh, with my hand hand control trolling motor till we saw bait. And once we saw those clouds of bait, we would set the depth, you know, five foot, three foot below those below those bait balls, and we'd always come home with 12 or 13. Yeah. So guys, listen, again, yes, I'm using live scope, but I'm still applying the stuff that I learned way back when we were just using 2D sonar. That's a pro tip, man. Below the bait, it's a fish making gain some weight. Let's go, baby. Get him, Dad. There you go. Really too high. Let him, Dad. Oh, man. Another good God. That one. Y'all want to see something nasty? Yeah, he got two shades. Good. 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 Now, look at the belly on this fish. Y'all see in there? I don't even want that in my live well. Let's get him out of there now. Watch this. Ooh. Ooh. Now let me, let me tell you something. We're fishing. That's a four-inch shad right there, man. Whew. Best dinner he ever had. That's gonna be the last meal. We're gonna get our stomachs filled. All right, y'all look, man. We got on off the lake, it was getting dark and I wanted to make sure I at least clean these fish. Then tomorrow I'm gonna be at my sister's house to do the cooking. But man, let me tell you something, Dad. We, listen, now we wasn't even looking for donkeys and they showed up, didn't they? We got a donkey or two. 
Donkey showed up, man. We wasn't even looking for him, but we uh we 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 got to opening that lid and got more fish than than what was needed. But we're gonna let him expire. Put him put him back. So what we do is we have some fish for now and some fish for later. Dad loves eating fish. I'm sure you're about to fry some in a little bit. Maybe so. Probably, probably. Fry, dilate to the side. But for now, I'm going to make sure I clean all of them. We brought 14 home. Again, man, quality fish. Like I say, quality, quality fish, man. You can't hate that. But, man, look, it's a lot of different ways to cook these. We're going to get an awesome new way to cook them per my sister come tomorrow. But let's clean these real quick, man. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Man, y'all know she asked for fillets, so we're going to bring fillets home using the bubble blade. Didn't get the little shark blade knife uh, uh, blade, but it's all good. Um, got what we need. Listen, it's just a simple, very simple fillet technique, man. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, all right, behind the head till I hit the spine. Then I'm going to run down the spine till I get to the to the end of the tail without cutting through the tail, flip him open. I'm going to cut in again and swap Listen, if y'all want to see an in-depth how-to on how to fillet a fish, I did make one, what, two, three years ago, and it's the same exact, uh, same exact backyard. If y'all want to see in-depth, but I'm just going to run it through real quick for you. Cut one. Cut two. Open them up. Cut three. All right, boom. Just like that, you got your fillet. All right, guys, I'm going to show y'all another little trick on how to um, cut the rib cages out before you uh, before you finish the whole fillet out. So same same technique. One cut, two cuts. Stops at the tail. I'll open them up. Y'all want to see a catch clean to cook crappie eggs? It ain't gonna be this time. But who has done it in the comment section and what did they taste like? All right. So here's the deal, though. So if you already have your uh your fish opened up and you want to get the uh, rib cage out now you can do so just a v cut cut once there twice there look and that comes out that comes out what you're left with is a really really pretty fillet y'all meet me at my sister's house be there in a minute all right guys just made it to my sister's house and she's supposed to be cooking these fillets mm -hmm. for us. Look who I got with me. All right. Pink honk. No oh, man, look at these two. What's up, dudes? Who are, who are you? Mason. Mason, there go one of my nephews and then the other nephew. Bryce. Let's go, baby. Go on in. So Cammy came to play with those two. And then there is our chef for the day. What's going on, little sister? What's up, Hook City TV? Let's go, baby. Look, I see you ready for you got your, your clothes ready for the occasion. Ready. You ready to go? All right. Let's go. So she said that she has something for us today that we are gonna love. And I I think she might have been right. I have no clue what she is cooking with all of this stuff, but we got crappie fillets laid out. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, look, man, listen. She said she had something for us. And, and listen, I want I want to re reiterate once again, y'all, I only like crappie fried. She said, little brother, they call me Kenny. She said, Kenny, I got something I think you're going to like. So her name is Quisha for all y'all that want to know. And yes, she's Mary, before y'all get started, <laughs> before y'all get started in my comment section. But Quisha, what is it? Go ahead and let's let's get it out there. What you finna make? Okay, so basically what I thought of creating was a baked crappie with a crawfish and shrimp sauce. Sauce. Okay, so baked crappie. Now, you know I don't really care for baked crappie. Well, I don't eat fried, so. You gonna make it happen. I'm okay, it so let's, let's talk about what we got here today. What all are we gonna be using? So we're going to be using, for the sauce, we're going to be using heavy whipping cream, chicken broth, 
cream of mushroom, Worcestershire sauce, peas and carrots, but this is only for like garnish color. Red and green bell peppers with a little bit of white onion, parsley, shallot, lemon, and mushrooms. Okay, now let me ask you because a lot of times we know that we cook by feel or by taste. Now, are you gonna be having exact measurements on some of this stuff? Or is it just going to be add a little, add a little, add a little? Well, to be honest with you, uh, I'll give you exact measurements, but you can really add a little here, add a little there. Put a little soul in it. Mm -hmm. but, um, but I will give you exact measurements as we go. Okay. okay. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to use two different containers for my fish so I can just spread them out and make sure that I get everything seasoned properly. Okay, first what I'm going to do is oil my dish. And that's just a little bit of olive oil you're using Just the olive oil, yes. Okay, so you're going to oil your pan first. Yes. Then lay your fillets in there. Yes. Okay. So we now have the crappie fillets in the pan. Sister also took a half a stick of butter and melted it down and added a little bit of this uh, garlic stir-in paste. So now we have a little garlic butter, again a half... Um, a half stick of butter, and we are going to be using eight fillets for this recipe. So I'm just using a little paintbrush to make sure I get all down in the crevices. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, doing this real quick, I'm going to let her finish that up. I just want to tell y'all. Um, so I call Quisha my little sister, but she is actually older than me. She yes. just always acted like a little no, sister to I'm me. She's always acted like a little sister to me. I always felt no. like I was her protector. Now she's about to go ahead. What you finna say? No, actually, you were about to say something nice. I thought you were gonna be mean. Go ahead. See, she, <laughs> she used to me always teasing her, but I've always kind of played the big brother role, actually, for both of them. So shout out to Nikki too. We might be uh making a phone call to see if she'll help be one of our taste testers for the day. We don't know yet, but. That's my sister, um, and she looks nothing like me. That's why I'm so glad I have fish and camera. Do she look like me? In the comment section. If we look alike. Well, it's funny. I mean, I know I'm cuter say, than her. I look like mom, and they say you look like mom, so. I we know. might look alike. Comment section, do we look alike? All right, okay. Crappie with a little butter and garlic on it. And now she's just, man, just kind of dusting these fillets. So are you using more than one seasoning on these fillets or is it just going to be this Cajun seasoning? I'm going to use the Cajun seasoning and the Creole seasoning. But the butter I used, I used uh, salted butter, so I don't want to put too much. Right, we don't want it to get too salty on us. Okay. And again, just a light dusting. The cool thing about crappie, they don't need a real heavy uh, seasoning because they're so, I don't know, they're, they're not dense like a catfish fillet would be. So they don't need as much seasoning to get what you need out of it. And also that butter is gonna help these fillets not to dry out while they're in the oven. Because again, these crappie fillets, they will dry out and break on you if you ain't careful. Yes, and I have my oven preheating on 400. Okay. And we're gonna cook them maybe for about 15 or so minutes, but I'll check it periodically too. Okay, up next. Right before I put the fillets in the oven, I need to cut up a lemon and put a little lemon juice on top. Okay. And I need a knife, but hey, look at this. Where did this come from? You got oh, this? Man, let me see. Hold on. Let me see that. Oh, okay, guys. So listen, this is my uh, Outrigger Outdoors Filet Knife. Go ahead and take the sheath off of that thing. Man, that's the VG-10 from Outrigger. <laughs> that's the VG-10 from Outrigger Outdoors. Beaker? <laughs> Careful, you slice yourself wide open. You can go ahead and use that. And guys, look, if y'all are looking for a good fillet knife, kitchen knife, whatever you want to call it, listen, get you one. Outriggeroutdoors.com and make sure you use the promo code HC10. We just want to get a little bit of credit for introducing y'all to the knife. Okay. Be careful, it's sharp. Oh wow. That joke is sharp, ain't it? Wow. That VG10 series, so okay. be careful. I'm just going to sprinkle a little lemon juice. Now, you could use lemon pepper, but, you know, we do it real over here. We're so doing real organic. We're going to use lemon juice. Cool. 
So half a lemon is all you need for those eight fillets. Yeah. And you know, don't squeeze too much, just a little bit. We're not trying to drown them. Yeah. Okay, so now we just put the fillets in the oven. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and just put some seasoning on my shrimp. And then after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and start on the Creole sauce. It doesn't really matter how many you use. I'm just throwing this in just for, I, I love seafood, so. Okay. And those are, were those pre-deveined or did you do that yourself? I actually deveined these myself. And, and what's the process? Usually there may be a vein on this side and a vein on this side. Now on this one, it was just a vein on this side. So what I did was I just got my knife. Make a little through. incision. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then took the, the vein out. Got it. All right. I'm just seasoning it with uh, some Creole and Cajun seasoning. I want to kind of keep my seasonings consistent throughout. I'm going to use my garlic paste just a little bit. Now you can use regular garlic cloves, but I like using this garlic paste. It looks and convenient. I have to chop it up. I'm about to say it's And convenient. I'm just using a little bit. I don't want to use too much because when the shrimp cooks, you don't want it to burn. Right. I'm going to tell y'all the truth, man. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting excited here because uh, y'all know every time I do a catch, clean, and cook, man, I don't eat. So here I am, it's four o'clock in the evening and I have yet to eat, y'all. Now y'all know y'all better stick around to the end because your boy always has to taste it. I got fish and came in there, I got two hungry nephews in there. So we're gonna have a real epic tasting of this, what we got going. We're gonna have some baked property today, y'all. Listen, now is the perfect time. If you have yet to subscribe, perfect time, man, to like, comment and subscribe please don't forget to hit that notification bell everything is going so well i wish y'all could smell let's go baby all right so the next thing we're going to do is chop up our veggies we have our shallots here i'm going to ch chop two cloves and then i have some green onion and we're going to chop up the mushrooms okay what we're going to do is make our Creole sauce. So the first thing I want to do is turn my stove on to just a medium heat right now. So I'm going to let that melt. I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to get ready to saute my vegetables. So I'm going to use the onion, mushrooms, my mushrooms and onion, I probably use maybe about a fourth of a cup. Fourth of a cup. Yes. And I have my bell pepper and onion mix. This is about a half a cup. Let that sauce I'm going to use some more of the garlic paste. Now usually like if you have the garlic clove, a lot of people what they do is put the garlic in with the butter and let it saute, but it doesn't really matter. Not when you're using the paste. No, not when you're using the paste. Guys, this is these these new age uh, cooks. Don't, I've uh, don't, don't No, I'm just I was just gonna explain to them that I, I taught you um, a little bit of what you know. I'm kinda proud at, at where she is right now. Um I'm happy to see that my sous chef is doing so well. Quich, I just, I just really want you to know that. Sous chef. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're doing an awesome job. <laughs> She's trying not to say nothing mean on camera, y'all. <laughs> That's what that laugh is about. So right now, I'm just letting all the vegetables caramelize. I'm trying to get a little saute here. Okay. Then after that cooks down, probably cook it for about two and a half minutes. And then after it cooks down, I'm going to add the crawfish in. Once I add the crawfish in, uh, we'll let it cook some more, and then the vegetables will get more tender as it cooks. All right. All right, so I'm just going to add my crawfish straight from the pack. Juice and all. Because that's where we're going to get the color from. Man, I wish I could smell it. Hey. Now is the time. Now is the time to have the smell of vision on, y'all. 
I wish y'all could smell this right now. The uh, the vegetables, man, cooked onion smells good to me. I guess because I'm getting older, but the onions, um, the butter, the garlic, and now the crawfish mixed in is is just really giving off a really nice fragrance. The aroma is crazy. Listen, I better get out this kitchen. My stomach is kicking. I'm ready, baby. In the comment section, what's your favorite way to eat crappie? Again, I am a fried person, but we got some baked crappie in this oven. This stuff is looking excellent, smelling great. I got a feeling I'm gonna be happy with it, but we'll find out. But I wanna know in the comment section, what's your favorite way? Or listen, here's a better question. What's the most unique way you've used crappie fillets? Now y'all know we do have the um, crappie balls, catch, clean, and cook. Shout out to Auntie, Aunt Alicia, we love you, we appreciate you. But uh, we, got, we got sister here today. And I don't call her sister, I call her Mook. So in our family, everybody calls her Mook. So right now, we <laughs> that's what Hook City has called her all her life. So I don't know why she's looking funny right now. But uh, Quisha, as y'all can call her, we're going to see what she comes up with, man. I tell you what, we got a lot of flavor to savor. Let's go, baby. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add my shrimp. Now, is there a reason why you added the crawfish first and then the shrimp behind it? Shrimp doesn't take very long to cook, okay. and if the shrimp gets too, um, if you cook it too long, it'll get tough. Or gummy-like. Yeah. Okay. So. And not so much with the crawfish. Right. Not so much with the crawfish, and plus with shrimp, you can kind of tell when they're done uh, turn pink. Okay. And I heard you got a secret weapon for you for you putting the sauce together. I do have a secret weapon, and I really don't tell a lot of people this, but I'll tell you. Okay. What I like to use is white wine, but just a little bit of white wine. Once uh, the sauce comes together, it kind of brings out that flavor. Just try it. Filets are ready. Man, that's pretty well back there. use my uh, heavy whipping cream first and this is one cup one cup of heavy whipping cream uh, now by adding the heavy whipping cream it's gonna feel like it's a little thin that's why I have my cream of mushroom to kind of thicken it up you don't have to use all of the cream of mushroom unless you want it thick. So basically what I'm going to do is just eye it until I get my to my desired thickness. Yeah. So we can call that, that was about three spoons, four spoons. Three very big spoons. <laughs> Three very big, and we can see how it already come. Yes. You brought it to a simmer, and it's already starting. To, man, guys, don't they look good? I almost look cheesy, but not cheese in there. No cheese. You're just gonna keep working that, and as it heats up, will it will it continue to thicken up? Yes. Okay. And then, of course, this is optional. Again, like I said in the beginning, this is only for color. I know peas and carrots are not a lot of people's favorites, so. That can be left out. It can be left out, but I'm just adding it for the color. I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of the white wine. Now, what does the white wine do for it? It gives it a, a rich flavor. Okay. Don't add too much because it's super thin, of course, so it'll thin it out. So you don't want to add too much. And you don't really need too much either. That was probably about a tablespoon. But just that small tablespoon, it really does wonders. 
I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat off. And then as it cools down, it's gonna thicken up a little bit more. Nice. I'm just gonna put this to the side for maybe about five minutes and let it just get a little thicker and then we'll pour it over our fish. Let's go. Okay, so what I did uh, while this was simmering, it was a little too thin for me. So I went ahead and added the whole can of the uh, cream of mushroom. And I went ahead and put my rice on. Well, you guys know that's already on. I'm going to add a little bit of the Worcestershire sauce. And just a couple of dabs. And this hot sauce... I don't really care for hot sauce. My brother likes it. That's so I, I can add it at the, the end. The reason I got it, I'm not gonna add it in here. Yes, they don't. They don't eat hot sauce at this house, so we have to. We have to bring all the hood stuff with us. <laughs> <laughs> now they eat. Uh, what's that other hot sauce y'all love? Now, y'all eat caliente all day long, but it ain't no Louisiana nowhere in it, so we usually have to bring it with us, but... Yeah, as you can see, you know, it's... it's sealed. <laughs> it won't be used until me or my sister Nikki eats up, uh, or my or Hook City comes over here. Shout out to Hook City, y'all. I want to show you this. So, remember I told you that once the rice comes to a boil, mm -hmm. you want to cut the fire down and then just let it simmer. Okay. And then as far as the thickness, see how thick it is? It did thicken up, yeah. So, and, and this is per preference as well, because to be honest with you, it, it's going to taste the same whether you use all of it or you don't use the whole thing of the uh, cream, of mushroom. cream of mushroom. Okay. So, I made it once before and... I preferred a little bit creamier, so that's why I decided to go ahead and use all of the cream of mushroom. Got and then it. once we pour it on top of the, the fish, you can see what I'm talking about. Let's go. Golly. We at you. We at you. Now, God, dog. Now, tell the truth, y'all. If that don't look good, somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Y'all can't tell me that don't look good, y'all. Baked crappie. We're going to call that a seafood sauce. No, I can't call it seafood sauce. That's baked. Give me. All right, in the comment section. What would y'all call this sauce again? It has crawfish and shrimp in it. Can we call it a shellfish sauce? Or does that not sound good? Shellfish sauce. Crustacean sauce. I don't know. Good Lord, have mercy, so that's <laughs> look at the somebody coming. Look, we're gonna call that Good Lord, have mercy, sauce. My question. We have to wait until we taste it first. You ain't lying. Let, you. I get. I'm just hungry right now. You I guess are. it is. Man, now look. You can you can you can serve this over rice, which is what we're gonna do. You can also add it to pasta. Um, I wouldn't go crazy and put it over over mashed potatoes, but if that's if that's your world. Get it, squirrel. Last but not least, you got. Are you you gonna hit them with the garnish? Go ahead. You what? I'm do gonna, it again. I'm gonna do it G Garvin style. Okay, get, let me see what you got for. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Cut up the. Cut up the. Cut up the. Guys, do my sister need to start a channel? Look, if it ain't nothing else, it's pretty. If it ain't nothing else, it's pretty, y'all. So <clears throat> we now have the finished product and I have of course sister Quisha nephew Bryce nephew Mason and you heard her a hundred thousand and fifty times fish, fish and cami fish and cami all right cami hit us with the grace heavenly father god bless the food god bless uncle just God bless the food in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. All right, so who's going to go first? Who wants to go first? That food looks delicious. But you don't like fish. Neither does this dude. Do y'all want to no, taste it? Rice, no, Rice likes fish, don't you? Okay, so you're actually going to hit it with the lemon? Yes. This is, this is little sister Quisha, okay. 
Big sister. You wait, Cammy. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna get a little bit of the fish, a little bit of the rice. Yes. All right. Let's see what we got. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good. Okay, can you give me? Can you explain it to me? Give me more than just really good. What you think? Oh my gosh! The flavors come together real well. The flavors come together so well. The <clears throat> oh my gosh! Boy, ain't nothing like a mother with her own cooking. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean you know. I don't mean to you know. You gotta try to hype it up, but it is good. It's really good. Like you can really taste the the cream of mushroom. <clears throat> I did add a little bit of the chicken broth at the end just to make it a little bit thinner because I had gotten it too thick with the when I used that whole can of cream of mushroom. Okay. But the flavors came together so well. It is it's really, really good. Y'all are gonna have to try this out. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay I'll try it. Uh oh, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna make Cammy wait. Look, she she don't know what to do with herself. She don't wanna wait. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to give you so much, but that's a good piece. Go for it. Wow, that is amazing! Amazing, that is delicious. Does it now this like is a, this is a kid that don't eat fish, right? Okay. Does it even taste like fish? He is a kid who doesn't even I eat, eat fish. I eat like he fried is. fish, like pawpaws. Yeah. Do eat All right. Fish. I feel like slapping something down. Like no, no slapping Just. nothing. That I appreciate. <laughs> we want a, we want the real opinion. What do you think? <laughs> Delicious! Okay. <laughs> Mason. Wow. What do you think? It tastes just like chicken. It tastes like chicken. What about the flavor? Give me, give me something about the flavor. What do you think about the flavor? Spicy. Mushy. <laughs> mushy. Your mm. crappie fishy is a little mushy. What else you can think about? Mm -mm. That one is good. But you like it. You would eat some more of that, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. That's really good. Lemonade. You can tell me the truth. We want the truth. We want the honest opinion. Honest. It tastes good when you like first chew it up, but it kind of has like a bad aftertaste. A, the bad aftertaste. Like it's been in the water. Yeah, so that's why you don't like eating fish. But you could at least say that it does taste okay when you first tried it, right? Yeah, it really does. Okay. Oh, now listen, I want y'all to understand now that was a true and honest opinion from somebody that does not eat fish. It's no. time. Fish and kids. Yes. All Let's, go. Go. Let's go. Well, y'all, everybody else done tasted it, and now it's my time. I tell you what, man. So let's let's talk about overall appearance. I love the way this looks. It really does look like Quish. I'm, I'm very impressed, sister. Thank you. Um, for this. Help me uh, thank my sister in the conversation, if you would, for doing this for us, man. These are fresh caught fillets. Um, mm. It has it has some really good crawfish in it, which I love. Um, the baked crappie is what's wearing me a little bit, but I'm going to do like everybody else. Uh oh, and I'm going to go ahead and just give it a little lemon, not too much because I don't want it to be overbearing. But I'm going to make sure in this first bite, I get some of everything. A little rice, a little crappie, um, I don't know where the shrimp are in it, but I know it's in there somewhere. The flavor is definitely there. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. I'm a little nervous, y'all, but I'm, I'm hungry and ready. Let me go give me a tissue. Yo, cry, baby. Thank you. Y'all. I've been teaching this girl how to cook all her life and to, to see her make a, a, a fish taste like this. Simply delicious. Y'all have to forgive me, man. This girl, my little sister, I'm proud of her, number one, but listen to me. That's some Razoo's, Papa Do's, Mama knows. Mama, we did it. We done taught this girl how to cook. Now look, man, y'all, this this for real is good. I'm, I'm not even finna sit here and play with y'all. It's finna be some eating going on.
Mm. 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 Boy. God dang, it's making me cry every time I eat a bite. Who? You ever had some food so good you didn't want to swallow it? Okay, dang. Woo. Man. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you choose to do this recipe, please let me know how it turns out. Whew, I, I don't feel like crying no more, but I'm hungry. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. If y'all try this recipe, make sure you have a box of tissue. Because this baked crappy is an issue. It's your boy, Fisher King, Hook City TV. I'm out here.